Hello everybody, welcome to Dot Dot News, I'm Jonathan. Today we have invited a very special guest, in fact he is outside of Hong Kong. Please welcome the National President of the Junior Chambers International Miami, Mr. Sebastian Poon. Mr. Poon, good to see you. Hi, good morning. Uh, well, um, thank you for having me here. Um, and, it's, and it's great to be here with uh, Dot Dot News. So Mr. Poon, um, you have joined the uh, Junior Chambers International for many years and was elected as the national president this year. Can you tell us more about the uh, JCI and what JCI is all about in your country? Yes. So JCI in, um, in Myanmar is a, is a NGO and we are, um, we are a bottoms up uh, development and we are able to create development for the youth from the ages of 18 to 40 um, in Myanmar. And right now we are targeting a lot on the university students and, on, and also the younger development of these kids to become better leaders in the changing world that we are living in at the moment. I see. So as you know, the pandemic you know, has been around with us for more than three years, you know, and uh, with no doubt it has significantly affected our way of life. I'm just wondering, how many challenges do you have to tackle when you uh, host events and also does it affect your election when you are electing for the uh, national pres president of JCI? Um, so with, with projects and, um, and with uh, activities that is concerned, I think at the moment um, obviously there is challenges and, um, and there is hurdles that we are facing but I, but I am I was pretty certain that um that actually for Myanmar um, and the and the environment in general um, we are still able to conduct these in-person activities and we were able to create those synergies for growth um, with with our subordinate partners and other um, other friends and people and. And, um, and families within our own uh, friendship circle and the JCI network circle. I see. Well, thank you. And I think Hong Kong is doing the same thing as well the, within the Hong Kong JCI. But as you know, well, it takes three stages to actually develop a junior chambers in the country. And it may take up more than 10 years to, uh, for national chambers to recognize uh, uh, by the international junior chambers. So why does it take so long to be approved? And what are the stages involved? So the, the stages at the moment that is involved with, uh, with, J with Junior Chamber International is when you start as a beginner, you definitely start as a potential chapter level. And then as, as time goes on and with more members, then you create a provisional stage. And then post that, you will be become a fully affiliated in um, in the international community where you are recognized as um, as one of the the more delegatable um, communities in the country. Well, thank you. So, um, as you know, uh, Mr. Poon, the entire world is competing for talent, and uh, many regions, including Hong Kong, have long-term youth development program. So, um, as the national president of JCI, what expectation do you have for youth development in the coming future? We have decided to actually um, work on some female entrepreneur networking, mm -hmm. youth development courses. We have definitely worked on some uh, on some skills development in order for our leadership to become better. Mm -hmm. So, actually. Um, it's really more of if when the country opens up and then we can definitely create more uh, activities and youth development for the leaders. Um, as you know, Myanmar at the moment is not being the most um, stable of countries, but, I, but, but we are definitely optimistic and, and certain that with time to come, we can definitely do more for the larger community. Okay. Um, so. Uh a while ago, uh, Hong Kong hosted the uh, JCI World Congress 2022 and, uh, and you have come to Hong Kong actually, right? And uh, what is your impression of Hong Kong? 
For me, um, actually, I am originally from Hong Kong. Okay. So, um, so actually, uh, coming back to Hong Kong was um, was a change after three years um, of the COVID and, um, and the pandemic. Um, so coming back to Hong Kong was um, was a was a breath of somewhat a breath of fresh air. But I still think that um, Hong Kong is definitely the Asia's world city, and it creates uh, potentials for the up- upcoming and rising for the youth. So as a as a person who familiarized with Hong Kong and uh, now you, uh, you 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 are back after three years, do you think Hong Kong is still a vibrant city? And would you recommend uh, foreigners to come to Hong Kong to uh, work or to study or even to invest? Well, yes, of course. Um, I would still recommend Hong Kong as a as as a city to come back to. Um, I believe that um, that Hong Kong can still grow after pandemic and um, and with a with without any changes. Um, I think people can still come in. All right. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Poon, and I will see you all next time.